Hey guys, King Kade here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best two floor layout for my restaurant. Let's get right into this. So this layout will help you get tons of customers and also tons of money as you can see. So the reason why you want tons of customers is to go ahead and get the huge chef cat that is coming. But yeah, so what you wanna do is this is a basic thing that I laid out to go ahead and show y'all. So on the first floor right here, this is just gonna be tables and chairs and two tip chars. So what you wanna do is go ahead and let's go to furniture and then go one block away and then just line up tables right here. So y'all wanna use double tables like this. It doesn't have to be this kind. So if y'all don't have these double tables right here, then you can get these tiki tables from the shop that are also double tables. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my like limited tables because those ones give me better customers. But yeah, so we, we're gonna go ahead and place these. So just place tables all along this then over here what we want to do from this table right here we want to go two away so one two and then on the third one you want to place more tables then you just want to place them all the way down like this make sure we don't accidentally skip a spot so so we want to place them all the way down like this and we want to do the exact same thing on the other side so over here go over to the little button go one away from the wall just like this and then just place the tables all the way down also by the way if you do have the game pass for the big, bigger place the bigger restaurant i don't have it but if you have it what you want to do is you want to place one one row of plants along this wall one row of plants along that wall and then two rows of plants along this very back wall because you don't want any customers going over there but yeah so let's just go ahead and keep placing tables though then once again we're going to go three away one two three keep placing tables and we're going to place them all the way along this path and now what you want to do for the middle click r to go ahead and rotate it so you want to go directly in the middle go one away just like this then you want to go one two three place one two three place and then one two three and place now what we want to do is place all the chairs so let's go ahead and pull out the chairs make sure that they're aligned with the table just like this i also recommend matching up the correct chairs with the correct tables also by the way the chairs don't really matter any type of chairs work but we're just going to go ahead and use these gingerbread chairs right here and then we're going to go ahead and just use these royal chairs right here for the royal tables and you just want to place chairs along the wall all like this so let's go ahead and rotate it then over here rotate them so they face the table and then just place them all the way along here and now what we want to do is rotate them so they face over here and then just place them all along this and we pretty much just want to keep repeating this so there we go we place chairs all along this side and now what we want to do is just mirror it on this side so over here just place these chairs there we go we have all the chairs and now for these middle tables pretty much the same thing just place chairs rotate them place and then rotate them again and we just want to surround these tables with chairs just like this make sure there's only four chairs per table all right there we go and then last table right here and now right here right in front of the door what we want to do is let's go over to appliances and you want to place two tip jars so two tip jars like that if y'all don't have these you can just place gumball machines they work pretty much exactly the same you just don't get as much money so, so now what we want to do head over to the second floor right over here and just go ahead and ignore all the flowers for now what we want to do is get your dishwashers and you want to leave a little spot in the middle so over here place your dishwashers so you want to place one two three four five five along that wall then rotate them so it faces this little spot right here and then place one two three four just like that so a total of five along that wall as well and now what you want to do is you want to leave this spot in the middle blank and you want to rotate your dishwasher so they all face that spot so over here we're going to skip one and do one two three and then we're going to skip one again one two three then we're going to rotate our dishwashers it's kind of hard to see with all these people but we're going to rotate it so it faces this spot and then one two three and then just place the two last dishwashers right there and now what we want to do is go over to your order stand and on this spot right here we want to go one up place then one to the right place one up place it and then one to the right and place it there we go and now we want to get our luxury stoves and go over to the corner right here let's just rotate it now it should look like this all your dishwashers right there you have a four way right here four is right there and now once you place this one you want to go one right there two three do one in the middle just like that also by the way you do have to go outward inward because we can't place stuff within the little dot so delete that one place this one this one now what we want to do is place this one just like this and all right a row of five now let's rotate them and we want to place them from the back forward just like this rotate them so they face the middle there we go 
and now over here what we want to do is place a row of these ones there we go and actually we want to do this middle row last so delete the middle row just like this now we want to place these ones so they all face the center point and now we want to do this middle row last so it, they all fit and there we go so there's our little thing make sure you leave a little hole in the middle because that we're is where all your people are gonna go and now once you have that what you want to do is you want to fill in every other space with flowers or a decoration because you don't want your people walking back there which right now they are because my store is closed but yeah so you don't want any of your chefs or cooking people to walk back there so just fill it all in with flowers just like i did so it should look like this once you're done so, so again should look like this and then on the first floor it should look like this something like this probably not exactly the same with the colors and stuff and now what you want to do on the all the other floors don't place any like tables or anything you just wouldn't leave them blank i actually recommend placing stuff on them such as like these youtuber cases and make sure you have a floor for all your jewelry so it increases the chance of celebrities coming in or for cookies so yeah so i recommend just filling up all the other floors with that type of stuff but yeah so this is a two floor layout though first table first one is only tables and then second floor is only in all of this stuff up here. And now let's go ahead and open up our restaurant and see how it works. The people spawn right here and they just walked directly right over here. And you see how they're all like piled up in this one spot. That's because they're not supposed to walk through any of these other parts. So having all your things face this one spot is very important. And then they just walk right over here. And as you can see, I accidentally left a spot open. So they're all walking right there. So we actually want to place a dishwasher in that spot because I forgot to put it there. So there we go. Place a dishwasher. And now they should all leave that spot soon. Yep, and there we go. They all leave that spot. So since we only have like two spots they can stand, they only walk between these two spots. So this spot and this spot right over here. And they don't take any long ways. This is like the shortest path. And that is why it's so good. And yeah, so that is the best two floor restaurant layout though. So that's going to be all for this video. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. 